Welcome in, Greg Ruff and Coach Ryan Schmaltz, the baseball coach here at Trevecca. And uh, there's snow outside right now. Yeah, I don't know. Pe maybe people from our conference don't really want to hear about it because it's like a half inch out there. But there is snow out on your baseball field right yeah, now. Yeah, it's like clockwork. Once baseball season starts, you usually get a couple snowstorms. So. But you guys are still working. I've seen you guys come back already for the semester. And, and just talk about the work ethic of your team. I really, I really see it every day. Well, you know, I mean, we, we try to eliminate – things that we don't have any control over you know any distractions uh you know like the weather like um you know field conditions things like that you know we don't really have control over those and it's no excuse for us not to work you know every day i mean our guys get up early in the morning and lift every day we um you know we work hard on the field in, in spite of the, the the cold and the and you know the wet conditions you know they're they're uh, they're hungry you know i mean it's it's not um it's not anything out of the ordinary. I mean, they've done that from the day they got here until now, you know. So it's, um, you know, it's something that's expected, um, you know, and, and uh, just kind of a, a standard that's been set, the, the work ethic here. A lot of times people will ask the question, you know, how do you, I mean, you've won three in a row. You guys have been blessed to win three conference championships in a row. And I say blessed because it's been hard a couple of times. And, uh, and it will continue. It's only going to get harder and harder. But how do you motivate guys that are seniors that have never lost a conference championship how do you communicate to them uh, that it is going to be hard they know I don't think I have to communicate that to them um, they they've been through it they know the the teams that um, you know that, that are going to be gunning for us and 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 they know that the other teams um, you know they, they want a taste of what we've had for the past couple of years um, so you know they, they realize the challenge in front of us I you know we, we have we have a lot of goals that, that are um, extremely high, uh, higher than, than winning a conference championship even. But, um, you know, those are set forth at the very beginning. But, but on a practical day-to-day -day basis, uh, that's the furthest thing from our mind, to be honest with you. We're just trying to be the very best we can in the weight room. We're trying to be the very best we can, can, we can during, you know, bunt defenses and, and hitting in the cages and scrimmages and, and um, just that day-to-day -day process of, of doing our very, very best and, and what our job is for that particular day. Um, on the field or off, you know, that's kind of what we're, uh, you know, what we're talking about, um, you know, doing every day. And so it's not, you know, it's, it's not something that we feel uh, the pressure of on a day-to-day -day basis at all. Some years you lose 9, 10, 11 players in baseball, sometimes maybe even more than that, if a couple of guys decide not to continue playing. This past year you lost a pretty low number as baseball goes, but it was a strong number. Yeah. Uh, Talk yeah, about those guys. It was, and, and that's going to be a, an obstacle for us to overcome this year for sure is, is the guys that we lost. Um, you know, we lost some leadership, you know, for sure with Clayton, uh, with Jimmy, with Mike. Uh, you know, we lost the conference pitcher of the year. Uh, we lost the region player of the year in Hunter. Um, you know, we knew he had a chance of getting drafted. We weren't sure um, about that, you know, if he was going to or not and ended up signing. Um, so that was, you know, the – that, you know, he put up video game numbers. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was ridiculous the year he had, and, and we're very, very uh, happy for him and, and his professional career getting started. But um, I think we can overcome that. I think we're much deeper on the mound this year. Um, I really, really like our recruiting class. Some of the freshmen uh, are going to step in and give us significant innings on the mound. We're much deeper. Um, I think we have a more talented roster, more athletic roster. Um, I think we can make up for that productivity from those guys collectively. I don't think the pressure's on any one player um, you know, but we have just about everybody in our lineup coming back, and I think collectively we can, um, you know, we can make up for that that loss and, and uh, the productivity there. Uh, you do have a, a, a nice class coming back too. Talk a little bit about the guys that are coming back, specifically the everyday guys. Um, you know, th from a, an offensive standpoint, Tyler Tishner is is a guy who stands out. Mm -hmm. You know, he's uh, he's going to be a four year starter for us, and and um, you know he puts a lot of pressure on teams. You know, I think he's had at least close to 100 hits in, in his first three years, and we expect him to have another terrific year. Um, you know, our entire outfield is back. You know, we got some really athletic guys that can really defend um, in the outfield, um, you know, guys that can really run. Um, you know, behind the plate, Zach Tompkins comes to mind, you know, somebody who's yeah. uh, a good leader, handles the pitching staff, kind of has been through the ups and downs of some, some college seasons and, and understands his role back there and, um, you know, on the mound too. You know, we got uh, you know Brian uh, Smith coming back, and Mason Dunn's gonna gonna be healthy. Um, you know, John Bolton's coming back as a weekend starter. A lot of those guys we we expect big things from once again. All right, 
That's Coach Ryan Schmaltz, the baseball coach here at Trevecca. They're the three-time GMAC champions and looking for a fourth in the row. It won't be easy, but he's got a pretty good squad to go out there and battle every day. We thank you for watching.